In one of our previous videos, we described the snow cone bounded above by x squared plus z squared equals four, and on the sides by the cone, z equals the square root of x squared plus y squared using spherical coordinates. Here we're asked to find the volume, and with no instructions given, we could literally use any kind of coordinate system we wanted. But this is a lesson on spherical coordinates, so I'm going to use spherical coordinates. And I hope by the end, you agree that that was a wise choice. And so what I'm going to do now is think about how to set up my bounds. I know what I will have is an iterated integral over the snow cone region, which you know what, I'm gonna call that snow, sub C, snow cone, um, dv, right? It'll be that. And in spherical coordinates, we know that the dv becomes a rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta. And I'm going to proceed in this order of integration. So my job now is to send a ray through the region snow cone that is an increasing direction of rho. Well, I would start at the origin. I think about a ray going through, and it turns out they would always go through the top of the cone. They'd just travel through the region. Because when I get here, I'm just traveling through the side, and I still hit the sphere. I'm in the region, and then I go out. So I'm always going from zero to the sphere, which is rho equals two. Right, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is rho squared equals four. This is rho equals two. Those bounds are really nice. All right, I could look at a projection into the plane where I'm thinking about phi's and thetas, right? But I'm just gonna look at this diagram. If I start on the z-axis and I rotate down, I can see that I'm going to leave when I get to angle pi fourths. Because we said this cone was the same as phi equals pi fourths. Well, on the z-axis, that is angle zero, and then I rotate to pi fourths, and I exit, so that's zero to pi fourths. And then to get the whole snow cone, I need to rotate around all the way. I need to go from zero to two pi. Well, this is a really nice integral to evaluate because all of my bounds are constants. If this was a x, y, and a z, this would be a triple integral over a rectangular prism. And so I can actually integrate in any order I want just by swapping bounds around. But I will proceed with what we have written here. I need a little more space in this, so I'm going to move to the next board. So I have the triple integral here. One more integral, 0 to 2, rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta. So let's integrate with respect to rho. And I need to evaluate that from 0 to 2. Rho is 0 to rho is 2. d phi d theta. Well, not too hard to evaluate. I get an 8 thirds sine phi and then minus 0. d phi d theta. So now we just need to integrate with respect to phi. So I will get minus 8 thirds cosine phi evaluated from 0 to pi fourths d theta. All right, so doing that evaluation, I plug in a pi fourths and I get a root 2 over 2. So that would simplify to minus 4 thirds root 2. Plugging in a 0, I would get a minus 1. Excuse me, I get a 1 times minus 8 thirds, but it would be a minus, so I get a plus 8 thirds d theta. Well, evaluating that, that would be 8 thirds minus 4 thirds times the square root of 2 times theta evaluated from 0 to 2 pi. So I end up with 2 pi times this. So let's see, that would be 16 pi over 3 minus 8 
pi times the square root of 2 all over 3. That's the volume of our snow cone in space.